Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim my name is Muhammad Asim I am working as AWS cloud architect and AWS automation engineer today I am going to show you um, how you can deploy multiple EC2 instances and you can deploy those instances in uh, different availability zones and definitely in different subnets uh, you can um, easily automate uh, this process by using my Terraform modules so uh, we are going to deploy this in the island region um, in my previous videos I already told you how to deploy the VPC uh, resilient VPC by using my Terraform modules so uh, what I'm going to do is to simply uh, deploy the VPC uh, because uh, usually I tends to destroy the infrastructure uh, to save the cost so um, no we are not going to deploy the VPN in this video uh, simply I'm going to, to deploy the VPC and we are going to deploy at least three EC2 instances and we are going to run um, script uh, in those EC2 instances uh, which uh, and those EC2 instance, uh, instances will be uh, running in different um, availability zones so let's begin first I'm going to deploy the VPC Uh, in this v uh, VPC, uh, I'm going to use only the one NAT gateway and, uh, of course, one elastic IP to save the cost. Uh, but um, I recommend uh, you guys to use at least three NAT gateways and, of course, three um, elastic IPs will be required. Uh, you will see the code. Uh, you can download uh, my Terraform. Um, modules uh, from this repo quickbooks uh, 2018 and uh, there is all code available uh, so uh, we are going to uh, deploy the VPC in the island region and you will see the subnets uh, are creating shortly okay all the routes stable and all this process is automated and uh, it is currently creating the NAT gateway IEW uh, is created and propagated and we are going to see uh, there will be one um, elastic IP actually uh, in the previous in the past actually I've created uh, and forgot to deploy the uh, elastic IPs and uh, we need one NAT gateway so you see it's a one NAT gateway and we are going to actually some of the uh, stuff I've done for ter testing purposes uh, forget to destroy and see uh, it is not allowing me to destroy the previous uh, current stuff so I need to destroy the previous things if I try to destroy this it will not allow me to uh, you know I can even though this uh, deassociate this and okay that's it uh, we need one at gateway, one elastic IP, and that's fine. So, uh, what we are going to do is to deploy the EC2, multiple EC2 instances in the Ireland region. So, uh, currently, I'm going to show you uh, there are no uh, EC2 instances. So, uh, what we are going to do is to use the EC2 module and 
uh, what I'm going to do um, first of all create the EC2 security group um, for this module uh, I want to show you the contents of my EC2 security group and uh, when it is deployed I'm going to show you uh, what is uh, allowed in the inbound rules so let's first create the terraform apply let's target a regal to module and I'm going to use this um, module uh, just let me make correction okay so uh, we are going to uh, uh, deploy the EC2 security group and I'm going to show you the security group uh, which we have uh, deployed and it will be shown as manage, uh, managed by Terraform you see and uh, this is the EC2 security group uh, which we have you see and just create it and I'm going to show you the inbound rules these are the inbound rules uh, I have uh, by default enabled in my configuration and uh, from the command line instead of changing uh, from here I'm going to allow myself what is my I want to see my what is my public IP this is my public IP and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to the EC2 security group and simply uh, you see uh, if I go to the port uh, 22 SSH is allowed from this particular IP I'm going to change this from here and apply it again so I'm going to apply this module again and you will see the change uh, with the tilde sign which will be in the uh, you see in, um, in the yellow uh, color okay it says uh, one change will be uh, required and you see this is the yellow color okay and uh, now I'm going to show you the inbound rules again and in uh, port 22 you will see my IP which is uh, 191 and 105 from the last uh, uh, okay let me it's not reflecting back okay just a second please yeah this is my IP and uh, I've already applied the changes so uh, uh, these are the changes reflect back I have not uh, refreshed my page so uh, the reason of creating the security group uh, is that I'm going to um, uh, I'm also want to do the uh, SSH session into my the into the instance uh, instances which will be created so we are now uh, going to deploy this module of EC2 uh, let me show you guys the EC2 stuff uh, EC2 modules uh, the best thing about these modules are you can create the workspaces for your dev prod and different environments so here is the key um, this is the public key so what I'm going to uh, do is to use the uh, module of EC2 let me just uh, copy this and I'm going to deploy this uh, in my uh, island region uh, 
regarding these uh, settings I just need to tell you that I need three instances in the public um, environment so if you uh, will read my code you will uh, be able to understand that if you want to deploy these instances in the private um, subnets you can do that as well and and if you wanna just simply um, deploy one instance in a particular subnet you can do that as well so currently for the demo purposes uh, I'm going to deploy uh, these EC2 instances in my public um, subnets you see uh, and there will be a bash script uh, which will be um, attached to this uh, and these are currently uh, you see in the pending state and I'm going to show you the key pair which will be used uh, which is of uh, which is with the name power dot pub it is the public key I'm going to use and uh, I've also attached in the bash script which I want um, wanted to be used uh, with these uh, instances instead of the do the manual stuff even I can do the SSH to this public IPs uh, let's see what is the script is running uh, uh, this is the uh, script I've used you see uh, if I uh, you see this script uh, is running on all of these instances and let's test the last one as well so uh, this is how powerful uh, the Terraform code is and if it is uh, managed properly and the right way and the right modules are used which I've already shared with you so you can deploy the resilient infrastructure in few minutes and uh, if uh, I wanna SSH I have this the private key uh, which me I can do the SSH as well with my IP as well so uh, this is the demo that's it guys uh, in next video I will uh, create uh, the RDS module and also I will create uh, in future videos the S3 bucket and I am users with the Terraform so that's it guys uh, this is the demo let me destroy this and we are going to destroy this uh, lab so to make sure uh, we do not uh, incur any extra cost it is destroying uh, you will see the effect immediately in just a minute you will see the instances are um, you are currently seeing the instances are shutting down um, state and uh, you are watching is, is the, uh, watching this uh, uh, regarding the destroy module um, which I've used for EC2 instances. I've just destroyed the EC2. Uh, my VPC is not destroyed. So in the after my all my instances are destroyed, and uh, then I will destroy my VPC as well um, with all NAT gateways and all that stuff. Um, you see the key pair is gone as well, which is the public key. are terminated you see all this uh, are terminated so now uh, what we are going to uh, do is to uh, simply destroy our VPC module as well uh, which will destroy our infrastructure of VPC let me show you guys uh, this is not refreshed and these are all destroyed terminated okay so um, I'm going to go to the VPC you see um, currently it is asking for uh, the destruction and 
I'm gonna show you uh, the NAT gateway you will see it is deleting and you will see the um, elastic IP will be uh, disassociate in a while it is deleting and uh, that is why elastic IP is not dissociated so it is still in deleting state and you will see in the command line as well um, 30 second has elapsed usually take about um, one to two minutes while this is um, destructing the infrastructure uh, you see it is the section complete and you will see the deleted status and let's go to elastic IP you see it is gone uh, now it will go to the internet gateway it has been removed route tables removed subnets all gone VPC yep you will see the green say all destroyed thank you guys for watching uh, please share this video and use my terraform code uh, terraform modules and um, kindly uh, do some suggestions and share this video as well thank you very much